Alright guys, I'm back with another Jurassic Park Operation Genesis walkthrough. Mission number 9, The Amazing Maze. This maze is a real bitch if you don't know what to do, so let's get going. It also says, um, Dino Mustard. You know, the stuff that makes them go a certain way. It says, a herd of Ed... I don't, I don't know how to pronounce the dinosaurs' names, but... Two dinosaur species are lost in a maze of enclosed fencing. Our dino vents wanting to examine them, so we need to, um, mustard gas them to safety, not mustard gas, that's deadly. But you catch my idea. I'll give you a closer view. Sorry, not the best camera views, but I really don't think it's that bad. When I first saw this mission, I thought it was dang near impossible to do because of, you know, all the carnivores and the fencing, and plus you got a certain amount of time. But I did it with, you just got to get a certain amount in there. You don't have to get them all. But it's not bad if you just focus and know what to do. All right, let's get started. Some of our horrible boys have become trapped in this maze of fences. Please muster them back to safety, but be careful. There are rogue carnivores out there. Okay, we have to get at least four dinosaurs of each species inside the fenced area. That's not too bad, actually. But the problem is, it's just, it's mainly hard to get them in because there's so much to go. All right, we got 12 minutes. That's a lot of time. First thing, yeah, that was a fail. Okay, I'm not really good with shooting today, but take out the um, carnivores. And also you need to take out these. Take those out, you can control them. Gosh, I hate shooting the velociraptors, they're so tiny. There we go. So, like I said, first thing to do is to take these out so you can at least get them through the maze without stopping them or them going off on their own. There we go. Okay, we got a few more to go, and then we can get started. Like I said, you have to do this first if you want to do it successfully. Where's the other one? Okay. Even if you don't think you're going to go over in these areas, you might as well do it just in case you do. Dead? Yep. Alright. We only got one left to go. And it's only been about a minute. So that's good. Alright, it's dead. Alright. Muster! Let's find out where our guys are here. Okay. I would at least try to do one at a time. Okay, they're freaking out, but let's get them in position. Now, you might not know where you're going at first, because you're, since you have an overview, but just keep on your map, just keep going towards this area up here. And when you run into a fencing area, you know you can get out of it and just take a look at where you are. Right here. I'm doing fine right here. At least, at least get a big herd of them because you're going to lose some definitely. I only have three. Push them. Okay, I got four. Why aren't they pushing? Now I got two. These guys are just not wanting to cooperate. Jerk offs. Whatever happened to the good old fashioned, get them by the neck and just pull them in. Like I said, this takes time and patience. You'll eventually hurt them. Okay, next. Next turn. 
like I said, it might seem like you're running out of time, but just keep your eyes off the clock and keep focusing on what you're doing. Then it'll go ten times faster. And the thing thing's not really that long. Kind of traveling a little group there together. That's cool. And like I said, I lost a couple right there. You might lose a couple, but that's no big deal, as long as you have at least four. I got at least six right here, so that's good. doing this on the campaign area. It didn't work. So apparently these guys are trained. Come on, dude. You need to get up there. And they go back, which is kind of a little tick off to me. It ticks me off a lot when they don't cooperate. Just keep pushing them. You get back in the herd. At the most, it might take you four minutes for each one. Yeah, all we gotta do is make that final turn right there, and we're good. This was the only mission I could never pass. When I used to do this a long time ago, and I can understand if it's a little hard. Alright, you should be pretty much directly in front of the fence, so just push them on in, by now. And they'll go straight to sleep as soon as they get in. See? Alright, we did four of these guys. There's the other. Let's get them rolling. That only took me about three minutes, so that's not bad. You will cut time a little close. Don't panic. That's the main thing that drives everyone away, and for them to say they can't do it, they start panicking. Now the really cool thing about this is, is that, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you complete all these missions, you get to unlock Site B. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever... Whoa, where the heck am I going? Hold on. We're going in here. I don't want to shoot them. Like I said, you unlock Site B. And Site B is really cool because, number one, you don't have to have any fences or anything. You can just make your dinosaur hatcheries and you can have any kind of dinosaur you want. You can go to the um, fossil map and they automatically let you unlock all of them. So that's really cool. I got a big herd this time. Start out with a big herd because you're going to lose a lot on the way. But as I was saying about Site B, it's really cool because, you know, you can just watch your kinds of dinosaurs roam free. I mean, unless you're... Whoa, I hit a dead end here. Crap. Not my best idea. Where am I going? That way. Alright. Threw me off some time, but that's okay. As long as I keep four going in this direction. But as I was saying about Site B earlier, if you're really into the profits and stuff like that, you know, creating Jurassic Park, making it the theme park thing, you'd stick with the campaign, but if you just want to watch dinos your dinosaurs roam free and stuff, you could do Site B. There are cheats in order to just automatically unlock and do all these missions, but the thing is, is that, um, 
I've tried it once and it didn't work for me. All right, we're still on the right path. Like I said, it didn't work for me, so I don't know if it worked for you guys or not. Let's keep it going. That would lead me into a dead end, so keep going forward. Like I said, you gotta keep looking up. We're up to four minutes right now. We still got plenty of time. Pushing this way. And the last mission of the whole missions campaign is actually pretty easy. It's just another safari taking pictures thing. But I don't remember much of it. Oops. Sorry about that. Done a pretty good job of keeping this whole herd together. Okay, we got some open fences right there, thanks to the Kakarodontosauruses. They broke that through. So now we can just push them on through. Thank you, universe. And like I said, if you want to let your carnivores take a few fences down, you could, but that would just take some time if you know what you're doing. And we're almost done here, with three minutes to spare. We got him. Fantastic. Once again, you saved our herbivores. All right, that's number nine. Please rate and comment on my... I really enjoy hearing you guys and seeing what's going on, but please rate and comment, and we'll be ne up next with the next mission.